Welcome to Moronzonia, guys. This is a typical day as a volunteer at Moronzonia. I'm Camille Blay. I'm an award-winning primatologist and conservationist, and I'm currently volunteering at Moronzonia, a wildlife rescue center in Ecuador. So Moronzonia is a wildlife rehabilitation center. Wildlife rehabilitation means that we treat and care sick, injured, and most of the time orphaned wild animals, while also preparing them for release to a successful life back in the wild. Most of the orphaned wild animals that we received here were the victim of the pet trade. Their family was killed, they were captured by poachers and then sold on the market and then kept as pets. At Marazonia, we have a strictly hands-off policy for the animals that can potentially be released, which means interacting the least possible with the animals. So having a hands-off policy allows the animals to have the most chances of being released. Today, I want to show you what a typical day volunteering at Marazonia looks like. So I'm taking Taking you with me. Let's go. Hey guys, so I just woke up. It's currently 7 a.m. We start working at 7:30. I'm just gonna get ready, like put on my working clothes, and then we can start working. So to know what we're working on today, every morning we come to the board and we have a letter assigned to our name. So mine is C. And then we check on the board, who is on capuchins, who is on woolies. Then we know who's working with which animals for the day. This is the bodega. This is basically the animal kitchen. That's where we prepare all the food for the animals every day. For some species, we need to disinfect the food. We put it in white vinegar, rinse it. And then we prepare the food according to the diet sheet. Now let's go get leaves. Woolly monkeys and howler monkeys are leaf eater, which means that they mainly eat leaves in the wild. That's why every day we provide the species with lots of fresh tasty leaves. For non-leaf eating species, we provide them with just enough leaves to make their cage look more like the jungle. When we have enough leaves, we can start cleaning. We take out the old leaves. We put the new ones in. We clean the cage, brush the feeders and any surface that needs it. We can then put new fresh water and food that we spread around the cage, on the feeders and on the branches. It's 10 a.m. I'm gonna take a few fruits for my breakfast. From 10 to 11 a.m. it's breakfast break so everybody is in the kitchen to cook breakfast. Nice. What are you making? Uh, omelette du fromage. You have cheese? Le cuisine fromage. Ah, okay. For breakfast, most people make <laughs> or pancakes but some make it better than others. Compliments to the chef. I am the chef. It's a cake in a pan? It's a cake in a pan. Oh no! It is actually What? for him. No, what I forgot. It's a baking soda! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a crepe. <laughs> it's a fail. <laughs> oh boy. And then we gather around here to eat and have a good time laughing, chilling, talking. And then at 11 we go back to work. Shall we? Round two. Let's prepare food again. Interaction. <laughs> What's that fruit, Anna? Booby fruits. What a beautiful, beautiful life. Now that the food is done, let's go clean the cages and feed the animals. Round two is also time to provide some special enrichments to Ayla de Taira, a fruit parcel, and Modo Koari, a mega worm. We're looking for leaves for the howling monkeys. 
Look at how beautiful it looks everywhere. Okay, so now we have leaves. We're gonna put them in the cage and then we will be done. It's 1.30 p.m. so now it's lunch break so people are gonna come to the kitchen to cook lunch and then same as this morning we're gonna gather around and eat together. Come on Thibaut, do it! I'm filming! No, no, no! It's 3 p.m. time to go back to work for the last round, round three. We prepare food again. Get some special leaves. Thibaut, one of the coordinators, is even giving all he's got for some special leaves for the woolly monkeys. Or maybe he's just showing off. Okay, he's definitely showing off. Let's go cleaning. We take out the old leaves, put the new ones in. We clean the cage. Look at them doing an awesome job. Well done, guys. Then we can spread the food and bon appétit! Some more enrichments. When they finish early or on some specific days, volunteers also work on what we call projects. It includes things like cage maintenance and or building enrichments. It's 5 p.m. Our work with the animals is done. Now it's time for Animal 5. We all gather around outside the kitchen and talk about anything that needs to be said about the animals. If they ate well, behaved as usual, if we've noticed a problem. Like this, everyone keeps up to date about all the animals every day, including Luisa, the on-site vet. When we're done with Animal 5, we're done working. We shower. And then some volunteers cook dinner while the others gather together to play games or just hang out. Then we have dinner all together. And sometimes we even make a fire at the fire pit. All right, guys, that was a typical day at Marazonia. If it looks like something you would like to do, come and join us. We're waiting for you here in the Ecuadorian jungle. So come with us. For obvious technical reasons, I could not film when it was raining, but a typical day at Marazonia is a rainy day. It's raining a bit today. My whole pants are wet and my boots are full of water. Bisous